Hi, John Chamley here again, and today what we're going to do is take a look at the B string, the second string on the guitar. Now the note B is represented here on the five line staff as uh, being on the middle line. And the same way that we played on the first string using fingers one and three, we're going to do this exactly the same thing on the second string. And those are going to give us two notes, C and D. All right, so we've got B, the open string, C with the first finger, and D with the third finger. So it's going to be B, C, and D. Now we're going to take each of these lines and just go through them. On this one right here, let's just do the B, C, D, and we'll do the repeat. So I'm going to count in four. One, two, three, four. Rest. Rest. Okay, so now actually what I want to explain a little bit here is about the term legato. What that means is it means join together. The way we connect the notes is very important. It's not just the notes that you play, but it's how you play it. This that has uh, a very big impact on, on how something comes across in music. It's a good habit to have your fingers ready for the next upcoming note. So, so you want to have this first finger hovering over the string so that when you play that note, if that's a note duration, then the next note should be, should be able to follow simultaneously. You want to be putting these two fingers down, like so. That's going from the B to the C, going from the C to the D, exactly the same thing. You want to have this third finger ready so that when you put this finger down, you put it down at the same time as you do playing on the right hand. So if you're playing C, this finger and uh, the, the finger that I'm using for on the right hand are going down at the same time. Second line. Ready? So it's going to be three. So one, two, three. Repeat. Okay, you got that? So now move down to the third line. Now here we have, we're back to four, four time again. And we've got two D's, a B, a D, a C, C, and a B, a half note B. Now let me just explain something that that is very common that I see with with beginners who are reading music for the for the first time. A lot of times they get mixed up between the B and the D. So just be aware of that. The B is the one. It's the it's the second string, and it's the one that's the middle line of the five. All right, let's 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 try this now. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm reading from the monitor over there. Okay, ready? So this is gonna, gonna be a counting of four. Okay, ready? ready? So one, two, three, four. Repeat. There we go. So here we have a B, D, C, B, D, rest, C, B, D, uh, uh, C, B. Okay, let's try this. Ready? So after another count of four, because it's four, four time. Ready? And remember, this, this gets two counts. So the half note gets two counts. So ready? One, two, three, four. Rest. Two, three, four, one, two. Let's do a repeat. And one, two. Rest. One, two, three, four, 
stop. So that's the second string. I hope you can go through and practice that and get used to playing that because up in the next video that we'll do, we'll be combining the first and the second string. Play through that page 17 if you've got the book or you can even write some notes out on, uh, on some staff paper or just go keep going through this. And once you're comfortable with that, let's go on to the next one and we'll be doing the first and second string together. And remember, stay tuned and see you soon.